हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई फर्दर डिस्कस क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स ऑफ कैथरीन एंडरसन एम आर सी जी पार्ट वन बुक इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस ब्रीफली विद यू कॉमन पेरोनियल नर्व एज आई आई टोल्ड यू अर्लियर दिस इज गाइनी एग्जाम सो नो नीड टू गो इन डिटेल ऑफ दीज नर्व पेरोनियल नर्व इंजरी फोर ड्रॉप गेट एंड नर्व इंजरी इन लिथॉटमी पोजिशन एंड इट्स प्रिवेंशन although this seems irrelevant but the most common nerve injured during the thotmy position is common peroneal nerve that's why i put this topic in this video and uh, now question is with regard to innervation of the lower limb uh, first option i have discussed in my previous video second option is damage to the common peroneal nerve typically results in foot drop now what is common peroneal nerve it is also known as common fibular nerve it begins at the apex of the popliteal fossa where sciatic nerve bifurcates into tibial and common peroneal nerve its nerve root is l4 to s2 now motor function common peroneal nerve innervates the bicep femoris directly to enter the lateral compartment of the leg the nerve wrap around the neck of the fibula as from our previous knowledge we know that the leg has three compartments posterior lateral and interior now common peroneal nerve then divided into superficial and deep peroneal nerves superficial peroneal nerve innervates muscles of the lateral compartment of the leg deep peroneal nerve innervates the interior compartment of the leg the this is the diagrammatic presentation here you can see in popliteal fossa uh, sciatic nerve divided into common fibular or peroneal nerve and tibial nerve in this diagram you can see common peroneal nerve wrap around the neck of the fibula from to enter from posterior compartment of the leg to the lateral compartment of the leg now its sensory functions two cutaneous branches arise directly from common peroneal nerve sural communicating nerve combines with a branch of the tibial nerve to form sural nerve which innervates the skin over the lower posterior lateral leg second branch is lateral sural cutaneous nerve innervates the skin over the upper lateral leg which is uh, which is showing in this diagram in the front view of the leg you can see in blue color uh, the lateral sural cutaneous nerve shows in the blue color now terminal branches of the common peroneal nerve also have cutaneous function superficial peroneal nerve innervates the skin of the anterior lateral leg and dorsum of the foot except the skin between the first and second toes as you can see in this diagram of the front of the leg uh, superficial peroneal nerve is uh, indicated in uh, yellow color you can see the cutaneous innervation and deep peroneal nerve innervates the skin between the first and second toes as you can see on dorsal aspect of the foot it is shown in blue color on the posterior compartment uh, common peroneal nerve has no direct cutaneous innervation and also on the plantar of the foot now peroneal nerve injury the peroneal nerve can be injured by trauma and nerve compression including knee dislocation knee or leg fracture knee or hip replacement surgery compression of peroneal nerve in the leg compression of peroneal nerve by a nerve sheath tumor or nerve cyst a peroneal nerve injury symptoms inability to point the toes upward or lift the ankle up dorsiflexion is affected pain weakness or numbness affecting the shin or top of the foot loss of ability to move the foot 
in this picture on the left hand you can see normal right leg foot in dorsiflexion and muscles of the anterior leg raise the foot so dorsiflexion and and do you know that the common peroneal nerve innervates the muscles of the anterior and lateral compartment and on the right hand the picture shows uh, foot drop a damage of the peroneal nerve impairs dorsiflexion of the foot ability to raise foot is lost now what is foot drop gait or stepage gait a distinctive gait where the knee is raised higher than normal to clear the foot from the ground when leg swings forward also called stepage or foot drop gait here you can see in the diagram on the left hand there is normal gait and on the right hand shows stepage gait the inability to lift the toe off the ground so the person has to raise knee above normal to clear the foot from the ground now peroneal nerve injury in lithotomy position as we gynecologists we use lithotomy position uh, for deliveries for gynecological procedures so here you can see Uh, peroneal nerve injury rate is eighty one percent, very high. Sciatic nerve injury fifteen percent and femoral nerve injury four percent. This this is the diagram showing uh, nerves injured during lithotomy position. Lateral femoral cutaneous nerve at hip joint. Common peroneal nerve and posterior tibial nerve at knee. and saphenous nerve at ankle so how to minimize lithotomy position injury proper patient positioning padding of exposed peripheral nerves avoiding unnecessary tension on the hips and knees minimizing operative times modification in stirrup design patient positioning using the lithotomy stirrup boot design that supports the patient's leg entirely preventing superficial nerve damage and prevents unwanted leg rotation intraoperatively this is lithotomy boot stirrups here you can see during surgery whole all whole of the leg and the foot of the patient is supported Now the question was damage to the common peroneal nerve typically results in foot drop it's true Thanks for watching if you like my video please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icons for more updates further options i will discuss in my upcoming lecture thanks